Well, this is, was an idea that we came up with about a year ago to, to bring several of our former players, our alums, back to campus and, and really provide some advice, some insight, some, uh, some tips to our, our current team. Today, Coach Callahan brought back uh, about six different alumni that are varied in different fields um, to speak to the kids and to really give them insight as to how we transition from being a student athlete into our professional lives. You know, I think so often that guys are putting off thinking about life beyond football and life beyond Monmouth until they become seniors. And I think it's so important for them to, to begin to think about it earlier on in, in their undergraduate years. Football is awesome, football is great, but football doesn't last forever. And it's good to meet with guys that realize that early on and made plans for their future and they're successful outside of the football field. Like obviously nobody's going to play football forever. So it's just good to, you know, see, you know, different ways to get into different careers and, you know, to be successful. Yeah, we had an outstanding panel today. You know, first of all, Kyle Frazier, uh, who works for the Department of Homeland Security down in Washington, D.C. He's a counterintelligence a uh, agent for them. You know, he was a heck of a quarterback when he played for us, and uh, you know, he, he was outstanding today. And then you got Mike Salvatore, and Mike was on our very first football team here in 1993. He's the superintendent of schools in the Long Branch School District. Um, and then you had Agbai Aroa, one of our younger alums. He's doing some amazing things in the software engineering field. Uh, he's doing uh, just a tremendous job there. And Eric Ingstrom uh, just became a partner in a local law firm. Uh, he's been practicing law since 2011. He was on our 2006 team, our championship team. Uh, he just was made partner, and so he, he's, he's really doing well in that field. John Schutzel is in the medical device field. Um, he's, done a, he's been doing that now since his graduation in 2001. It was great to have Fred Williams back as well, uh, 2004 graduate. Uh, Fred has been very active, uh, a very active alumni, very uh, closely connected to the program. Um, and he gives a lot of advice in the, in the finance world. He works on Wall Street up in New York City. Um, and, and he's a, has done, actually hired a number of our former players and brought them into the business world in New York. And then when you add in you know, Hakeem Vallis, recently retired NFL player, um, is an entrepreneur and, and very active in the real estate world. And so it's, it's a great group top to bottom, just doing a terrific job. My message was to uh, just stay in touch and just use the alumni uh, like portal that the coaches have to just connect with everyone. Just be in touch and just use the tool of all the former alumni to your advantage. The one message that I harped on today that's pretty big for me was um, controlling the company you keep. You know, surrounding yourselves with like-minded people that feed your passion and you can bounce ideas off and just motivate each other. I want them, and, and Hakeem Vallis said this at the end of the session the best, they need to follow up and they need to continue reaching out to these alums to start their networking base uh, to see in what ways they can assist them when it comes time for our current guys to graduate. What I took from today was uh, I talked to uh, Michael Salvatore, he was uh, one of the first uh, recruits here at Monmouth. He kind of gave me some really helpful information about how like if you want to be successful you kind of have to like jump into certain things whether you're uncomfortable or not just seeing the guys that were here before and seeing how successful they are in life and just hearing them talk about the same things that i think about on a daily basis and i'm sure all of my teammates think about and just seeing how uh they're real people they're successful in life and they they have problems and they had to trust the process the same way that i think about so it's just interesting and i feel like i connected to everyone that came back to speak to us today Transitioning to real life and trying to figure out what you're going to do for the rest of your life is a big issue and, and it's, it's a big step to take and this is going to be helpful for, for all of them.